So as we follow through the teachings of our brother Peter, 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning in verse number 3, where he talks about life and godliness. And then down at the end of that verse, he uses the term virtue. And as I said this week, that the virtue comes from the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives that we're allowing to be active in our heart and soul. And he begins to show to us what is right and what is wrong, what is virtuous and what is not virtuous, what God would be pleased with, what God would be unpleased with. And our heart becomes set that way. In other words, we allow our God conscience to be very active. And we're beginning to feel and flow in the presence of the Holy Spirit as he comes and he ministers to our heart and to our soul. And so yesterday we talked about what Peter said when he said, add to your faith virtue. And then another thought. He says, and then to virtue, knowledge. Now, I had to ask myself the question. I said, okay, how do you go about obtaining this knowledge? Well, again, we go back to understanding the flowing and the working of the Holy Spirit in our hearts and lives, walking in the Spirit, hearing what God has to say as God begins to show us his will for our lives. But see, there's another part that goes with this, and that's doing the things that we know that will build ourselves up in our most holy faith. In other words, the more we learn about God and how God ministers, how he flows, understanding his heart, the more we become aware of these things, and the more we're going to have a heart for virtue and faith and knowledge. And, of course, there's nothing that would be of greater importance in our lives than these words that God has preserved for us over all of these generations. It's a miracle. It's an absolute amazing miracle that God has called his or caused his Holy Spirit to just be a working through all of these generations to preserve these precious words that tells us about God and gives us an understanding about God. And so as Christian believers, the word has to be a part of our daily lives. You cannot even go a day without being in the word of God. And of course, our times of being in the presence of God through our prayers and just being active in dialogue with God so that God would show us himself through his word and through as he would speak into your heart and to my heart. It's called relationship. As we build our relationship with God, then the greater our knowledge and aware of him will be. And uh, these things will lead us into life and godliness and virtue. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.